It's about everything that I always make my movies about. It's about family legacy. It's about trying to control what you can't control. It's really about family, the American family, generational lineage and generational trauma. Family is such a rich place to tell stories from. It's the one thing that's really universal. It's where we grow the most. It's where we get hurt the most. It's where we learn how to be human beings. What a joy it was to make this. You know, the crew here that all made the film, too many to name now. They gave all of themselves to it. Film is a collaboration. Film is made by family. I have always been fascinated with identity between siblings, this kind of nurture nature debate. Two kids growing up in the same home can have wildly different outcomes to their lives. It became a big thing. Well, how could we do it that would make it feel they looked the same, but they were two different people? So I lost 20 pounds to play Dominic. I'll gain that back and put another 20 pounds on to play Thomas. Should be here any minute. Here was Mark showing up on set, yet Mark is no longer this handsome, charismatic character of Dominic anymore. Hey, buddy. I could not believe that it was Mark Ruffalo. You know, they had shaved his head in different ways, like he did it himself, and the look in his eyes, the dead look in his eyes, I was shocked that it was him. You remember that we have a meeting on Wednesday? To decide if I get out of here or not. Yes. And to do a scene with him, it was like working with another actor. And there were some mannerisms that were the same and some that were unique to each individual. It was really epic to watch. <laughs> oh, my queen, Dominic. And whilst it is about the reality of the dark side of life, it's also a story about love. A story about hope, a story about forgiveness. For me, it's how far does one go to save the one that you love? All the female characters are so totally different. And then the supporting roles have so much to contribute and they all have their own complexity. Every woman in this story is teaching Dominic something about himself. A lot of this story is about men and how we're told to be in the world. And it's generational. And they have Ray, the stepfather, who's super macho. I'll go the table. And aggressive. Don't pamper this boy. Derek wants you to go all the way and be real and honest and truthful, bringing up all those demons that exist inside of you. She would have just let me raise him the way he should have been raised. He would have ended up on the bottom. The way I was brought up, there was a lot of anger. Derek said to me, can you go there? Will you go there? I said, well, yes, that's why I do this, because I wanted to be truthful. I did the best I could for that kid, and my conscience is clear. You got that? Really? Your conscience is clear? Mark, he has always been one of the people I've looked up to as an actor. There's something kindred in our energies, I think, that instinctually we would be making similar choices. Thomas, this will be good for you, man. We're too close, you and me. I'll never forget shooting that scene. When I'm playing the characters, I need to kind of be so out of body. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. In Derek's films, things can feel very real. And you can really lose yourself in, in what you're doing. You are me. And that was one of those times. I'm not you, Thomas. You're me. Derek really respects actors, and he's also not precious about his words. You know, he would say, just say whatever you want, like say this or try that, um, which is very, very freeing. I've never worked with anyone that makes you physically go through the things that the character goes through in order to get a really real performance. We were shooting a, a funeral scene so the way that Derek shot this scene, he had the real choir of this church and the real priest come in and we shot an actual recreation of this funeral in real time. There was no action and cut. There was none of that. 
it feels like you are at a funeral. You know, people start crying. It's that kind of commitment to the experience that Derek is all about. Mark and Derek, they just want to make the thing as truthfully as possible. They both want people to come to the table bringing their whole and best selves. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Say something. You're sure that I'm a father? It's a great relief to see something which helps make sense of each other and helps make sense of the choices we make and the world around us. Tom, you have a right to know. His name was Henry Drinkwater. It's shocking to him. What he realizes is, is that he's part Native American. Henry Drinkwater is my father. Our final scene was unforgettable. I've always known we were cousins, that you wanted to keep secret. I think it's a moment of healing for both characters. No, man, I didn't know. I just found out. Mark's performance was heartbreaking, and Derek just let us play. Like, we went top of scene to end of scene. That's how we filmed it. We never filmed pieces. Derek even made some adjustments in the writing, like, on the day. Maybe I could stop by and see you again sometime. But I think we made the scene better. It was beautiful to finally sort of close out their story in that way. In the Native American mythologies of twins, in the end, they come together, they meld together, and they share each other's weaknesses and strengths, and then they become complete. When Thomas dies, it allows Dominic to be the whole integrated version of himself. And so he says sorry for the first time in his entire life. I will treasure that, that moment and that day as an actor. There was like nothing on the page at all. And we had talked about it in advance. We'd improvised it. And we just sat down at this little cafeteria. And then just Mark just kind of like said it. Sorry about what happened with Angela. It was so gorgeous what came out of Mark's mouth. It was just like perfect. I'm sorry that it wasn't there to grieve her with you. That's the angel of Thomas is like come into Dominic and allows him to surrender. Thank you. I love you, Des. At the end of the series, we know this much is true. Love grows from forgiveness, that the evidence of God exists in our connections to one another. I'm not a smart man, but one day, this much at least I figured out. I know this much is true. <laughs> <laughs>